questions are based on fish processing technology in the tropics. Let's begin. Which protein is primarily found in myocomata? A. Keratin B. Collagen C. Elastin D. Myosin Which protein is primarily found in myocomata? B. Collagen Collagen is the protein primarily found in myocomata. What happens to myotome blocks in hot water during cooking? A. They dissolve completely. B. They become more rigid. C. They flake off between the sheets of myocomata. D. They shrink in size. What happens to myotome blocks in hot water during cooking? C. They flake off between the sheets of myocomata. Myotome blocks in hot water during cooking flake off between the sheets of myocomata. At what temperature does fish collagen shrink? A. 450 degrees Celsius B. 640 degrees Celsius C. 350 degrees Celsius D. 550 degrees Celsius. At what temperature does fish collagen shrink? A. 450 degrees Celsius. Fish collagen shrink at 450 degrees Celsius. Which type of fish contains a higher percentage of collagen? A. Bony fish. B. Cartilaginous fish. C. Freshwater fish. D. Saltwater fish. Which type of fish contains a higher percentage of collagen? B. Cartilaginous fish. Cartilaginous fish contains a higher percentage of collagen. What is the approximate collagen content in bony fish? A. 1%. B. 3%. C. 8%. D. 16%. What is the approximate collagen content in bony fish? B. 3%. The approximate collagen content in bony fish is 3%. How much collagen is found in cartilaginous fish? A. About 1%. B. About 3%. C. About 8%. D. About 16%. How much collagen is found in cartilaginous fish? Answer, D, about 16%. About 16% of collagen is found in cartilaginous fish. Where in fish is collagen present besides myocomata? A, epimysium. B, endomysium. C, sarcoplasm. D, none of the above. Where in fish is collagen present besides myocomata? Answer, B. Endomysium. Collagen besides myocomata is also present in endomysium. What does the perimysium envelope in fish? A. Muscle bundle. B. Muscle cell or fiber. C. Nerves. D. Blood vessels. What does the perimysium envelope in fish? Answer A. Muscle bundle. The perimysium envelopes the muscle bundle in fish. What does fish processing technology encompass? A. Pre harvest handling of fish. B. Fish farming techniques. C. Post harvest handling. Processing and marketing of aquatic products. D. Fish breeding and genetics. What does fish processing technology encompass? Answer C. Post harvest handling, processing, and marketing of aquatic products. Fish processing technology encompass post harvest handling, processing, and marketing of aquatic products. Which factors? Does processing technology aim to prevent or delay in aquatic products? A. Microorganisms, enzymes, and physical or mechanical means. B. Nutritional degradation and loss of flavor. C. Fish parasites and predators. 
the overfishing and depletion of fish stocks. Which factors does processing technology aim to prevent or delay in aquatic products? Answer A. Microorganisms, enzymes, and physical or mechanical means. Processing technology aim to prevent or delay the action of microorganisms, enzymes, and physical or mechanical means in aquatic products. Which technology influence the promotion of new means-based products in the fish processing industry? A. Bulk chilling in chilled seawater systems. B. Meat bone separators or deboners. C. Surimi and fish analogs manufacture. D. Onboard processing into fillet blocks. Which technology influenced the promotion of new means based products in the fish processing industry? Answer B. Meat bone separators or deboners. Meat bone separators or deboners influenced the promotion of new means based products in the fish processing industry. What has led to the introduction of stricter management systems for quality assurance in the fishery industry? A. Increased consumer demand for safety and quality. B. Escalating fuel prices for fishing vessels. C. Government regulations and fishery practices. D. Emerging market competition from land-based agriculture. What has led to the introduction of stricter management systems for quality assurance in the fishery industry? Answer A. Increased consumer demand for safety and quality. Increased consumer demand for safety and quality led to the introduction of stricter management systems for quality assurance in the fishery industry. What is one of the driving forces behind increased mechanization and automation in the fish processing industry? A. Preservation of traditional processing methods. B. Reduction of waste and byproducts. C. Aesthetic appeal of modern machinery. D. High wage rates and need for consistent quality. What is one of the driving forces behind increased mechanization and automation in the fish processing industry? Answer D. High wage rates and need for consistent quality. High wage rates and need for consistent quality is one of the driving forces behind increased mechanization and automation in the fish processing industry. What developments have prompted the manufacture of value-added and convenience products in the fish processing industry? A. Environmental sustainability concerns. B. Increasing consumer health awareness. C. Rising fuel costs for fishing vessels. D. Market demand for easy-to-prepare and ready-to-eat fish products. What developments have prompted the manufacture of value-added and convenience products in the fish processing industry? Answer. D. Market demand for easy-to-prepare and ready-to-eat fish products. Market demand for easy-to-prepare and ready-to-eat fish products have prompted the manufacture of value-added and convenience products in the fish processing industry. What makes fish oils unique compared to other animal fats and vegetable oils? A. Higher content of saturated fatty acids. B. Richness in monounsaturated fatty acids. C. Abundance of omega-3 polyunsaturated fatty acids. D. Presence of cholesterol-free fatty acids. What makes fish oils unique compared to other animal fats and vegetable oils? Answer. C. Abundance of omega-3 polyunsaturated fatty acids. Abundance of omega-3 polyunsaturated fatty acids makes fish oils unique compared to other animal fats and vegetable oils. Besides protein, what other nutrients are fish good sources of? A. Vitamin C and iron. B. Vitamin B12 and zinc. C. Vitamin E and calcium. D. Vitamin D and potassium. Besides protein, what other nutrients are fish good sources of? B. Vitamin B12 and zinc. 
besides protein, fish are good sources of vitamin B12 and zinc. Which types of fish have particularly high levels of iron compared to red meats? A. Salmon and trout. B. Tuna and sardines. C. Oysters and mussels. D. Cod and haddock. Which types of fish have particularly high levels of iron compared to red meats? C. Oysters and mussels. Oysters and mussels have particularly high levels of iron compared to red meats. What is the main difference between bony fish and cartilaginous fish? A. Skeleton composition. B. Breathing mechanism. C. Habitat preference. D. Reproductive system. What is the main difference between bony fish and cartilaginous fish? A. Skeleton composition. Skeleton composition is the main difference between bony fish and cartilaginous fish. Besides muscle tissues, what other components support the fish's muscles? A. Connective tissues and fat. B. Blood vessels and nerves. C. Lymphatic vessels and tendons. D. Epidermis and dermids. Besides muscle tissues, what other components support the fish muscles? Answer. A. Connective tissues and fat. Besides muscle tissues, connective tissues and fat support the fish muscles. What does the term viscera refer to in the context of fish anatomy? A. Muscles responsible for fin movement. B. Digestive and reproductive organs. C. Sensory organs for detecting prey. D. Bony structure supporting the gills. What does the term viscera refer to in the context of fish anatomy? Answer. B. Digestive and reproductive organs. The term viscera refer to the digestive and reproductive organs in the context of fish anatomy. That's all.